Gamma pedestal gain is found under the color correction category and it's used for color correction. It's only an eight bits per channel effect, so you can't take advantage of any extra color information if you're working at a higher bit depth, but I'm gonna drag it out on top of this photo of a mountain range here and walk through these controls. Right away, you can see that there's three separate controls for gamma pedestal and gain for each color channel, red, green, and blue, as well as a black stretch value. This value remaps the low pixel values of all of the channels. So basically the shadows, the darker parts of the image. So it's defaulted to a value of one, but if I click and drag this up, it'll make those darker areas brighter. But then we have individual gamma pedestal and gain controls for each color channel. So if I wanted to grab some of these blue values, I'd go down to the blue gamma to adjust the gamma curve for that specific channel. Now it's not that important that you understand exactly what a gamma curve is, but if I bring out curves, you can kind of think of it like this change right here, making this curve higher or lower. So if I wanna modify this to be like this blue gamma shift that I just created, I would just change my curves channel to affect only blue pixels and then bring this up. And I'm essentially doing the same thing. So let me turn off curves, turn up that blue gamma again and see that it's essentially doing the same thing. So the default value is one, but I could turn that all the way down to a value of zero or really crank this up to basically any value that I want. And that gamma control is true for all three of these channels. So if I say made each one of the gamma controls set to 1.5, then I'm increasing the gamma on each individual color channel equally, and I'm essentially just brightening the image. Imagine putting that curves on again and just clicking and dragging this up. And you might be wondering why does this effect even exist if I could do the same thing with the curves effect? Well, it separates all of them out into their own key frameable properties. So if for some reason you wanted to affect the red, green, and blue gammas separately and keyframe them at different times, this is a perfect solution for that. All right, pedestal and gain controls for each of these channels control the darker and brighter parts of the image. Think of gamma as kind of that center point on the curve, pedestal as the darkest pixels, and gain as the brightest pixels. So you see, as I adjust the red gain, my clouds and the brighter parts of my image are getting more or less red. And if I adjust the red pedestal, the darker parts of my image, the shadows are getting more or less of that. Again, all of this applies to each individual color channel. So to me, it looks like the photographer added a little bit of a blue color grade over this entire image. So if I wanted to reduce that a little bit, I could go to the blue pedestal and dial that back, and now I'm getting more green in these trees. But now my clouds are a little bit yellow, so I might wanna back that off a little bit and then turn the green pedestal down a little bit as well. So this is before and after. You can see that it's much less blue now. There's probably more green than there needs to be, but you can adjust each of these individually however you see fit. But that's all there is to Gamma Pedestal Game. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.